living on the fringe of society. Story and photos by Christy Canada. Have you ever wondered how it would be to live without electricity or hot running water? I have some special friends who have lived this way for over 40 years. They are Harlan Hubbard and his wife, Anna. They spent seven years floating down the Ohio River in their shanty boat before building their home in Payne Hollow on the Kentucky side of the Ohio River below Madison, Indiana. Harlan is an artist, writer, and musician. I would like for you to meet them. It is very hard to get to their home on the Ohio River because there is no road. There are only two ways to reach their house. If we ring the bell on the Indiana side of the river, Harlan may come across in his john boat and pick us up. But it is a nice day, so let's hike down the steep trail on the Kentucky side of the river. Harlan likes to call living where they do, living on the fringe of society. He describes their lifestyle as pretty self-sustaining and has written, I wanted to bring in my own fuel and smell its sweet smoke as it burned on the hearth I had made. I wanted to grow my own food, catch it in the river, or forage after it. I wanted to do as much as I could for myself because I had already realized from partial experience the inexpressible joy of doing so. Ranger Hubbard's pig, Red Bone Coonham, barks to announce our arrival. Their house was all hand built by Harlan. 34 years ago, when he was 52, with rough-hewn timbers from all sorts of different kinds of trees. Ranger's nose is just the right height to lift the homemade latch, push the door open for us. As we go inside, we are in a large room which is used as a kitchen, dining room, and bedroom. Harlan is sitting at the homemade table in front of a large window overlooking the river, writing in his journal. His journals have been the backgrounds of his two books. His first book, Shanty Boat, describes their seven year and one thousand. 385 mile journey down the Ohio and Mississippi rivers to New Orleans. The second book, Payne Hollow, describes their life in the place that was their favorite during their shanty boat journey and where they eventually settled. To one side of the big windows are cherry bookshelves that prop up a wooden box that looks like part of the wall. Anna shows us that it is really their bed, which they put down only at night. Things are compact in their home, just like on the shanty boat. Across from the table is a fireplace with a wood-burning stove and oven. It is their main source of heat during the winter. Anna tells us, I didn't even know how to cook before I married Harlan. But we enjoy anything we can do together. I learned how to cook on a wood stove, very much like the one I use today. And facing the surplus from the garden, I learned how to can. Anna cooks soybeans, bread, and an occasional ground talk Ranger brings. Harlan grinds wheat for Anna's bread in his art studio. Spices and herbs she has dried. Anna's grand piano and Harlan's violin 
are to the right of the big windows. With a little encouragement, they play a duet for us. Let's see what Harlan has been doing in his art studio. For his work, Harlan depends upon natural light from the large window to his left. Living where he does, Harlan's paints are mainly of river boats and hollows near the river. Harlan painted himself in this picture of his lower garden at Payne Hollow in 1981. Notice how he frames most of his pictures with driftwood. Somber Day in Winter was painted in the 1930s on metal. In the Depression, Harlan often painted on both sides of masonite and used other materials. Harlan calls this picture the fog. He remembers late in the afternoon, of a bleak December day in 1935, a heavy fog descended on the river, covering the water with a cottony layer 15 or 20 feet in thickness. Above this mat of fog, the air was clear. As I watched the towboat Ben Franklin come down close to shore, the fog obscured the barges and lower decks of the towboat. But the stacks and top of the pilot house were plainly visible. This is a recent acrylic painting by Harlan of the Hattie Brown. This picture of a dog in snow was painted in the 1930s. Can you find the dog in the upper right hand corner? This is a picture of a steamboat in the bayou area of Louisiana where Harlan and Nana finished their shanty boat journey. In 1928, Harlan painted a springtime scene. Harlan's love for the river and a simple life is shown in his pictures, including this 1934 painting of a packet. Well, it will be getting dark soon, so we had better head up the trail to our world of electricity and hot running water. Living on the fringe of society isn't for everyone, but for Harlan and Anna Hubbard, it is their way of life. As Harlan states, it is a simpler way, and the rewards are independence, satisfaction of accomplishment, and the pleasure of being out of doors when the sun sets. The end.